All right, as I fix this outfit, it's time for Move It Monday. Hey, good job. Yeah. Proud of you. It's going to be my first time moving in a long time. If you're getting bored of push-ups or sit-ups or you don't do push-ups or sit-ups like me, there is another piece of exercise equipment that could add some stretch to your fitness. Okay, they may look like giant rubber bands, but these resistance bands can help you get a full body workout at home or in a gym. Joining us live to show us some exercises using resistance bands is fitness and nutrition expert Matt DeJesus. Good morning. Good morning, ladies. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Okay, we've got our resistance bands here. I should say these are some bands that I had left over from physical therapy, so I hope they work. But uh, hey, those are perfect. Okay, are good. Perfect. Take us through some yep. uh, some moves here. Okay, awesome. I was even going to say if people have the ones with the handles on the ends as well, those are going to work just as fine. Okay. So we'll go through. Oh yeah, about I guess we should different... start off just by saying what is it? What is a resistance band? I'm sorry, I'm just so ready to get a yeah. workout going. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I have one that's a little bit different than what you guys have there. Mine's more of a loop. So there's a few different, um, you know, different styles, and some of them have, have handles on the end. So either way, these exercises are going to work for whatever variation you have. Now, obviously, the intensity and the resistance is going to be a little bit different. So for each one of these movements today. We'll go based on if you were to do this as a workout, you'd perform as many reps as you could until you started to fatigue and your form started to break down and then you would move on to the next movement. Once you complete all six, you could rest for as needed until you can go back to the top of the first workout and then work your way through. You can do it as many times as you wanted to. So this is a perfect way to minimal equipment. Let's just use the band and we'll start off with the first exercise, Okay. which you're going to put the band behind your back and we're going to do a chest press here. Okay. So you're going to hike the band up about mid back here and I just have a open palm grip and I'm just squeezing the band and I'm going to press out in front. I'm going to hold for 1001 and then control it back nice and easy. So you'd perform this again for as many reps as you could until you started to fatigue or you felt like your form starts to break down and then we can move on to the next one, which is going to complement this movement, which is a row. Okay. So you guys are going to step on your band. Okay. You know, step on the band. Light bend in the knees is okay. Okay. Flat back, and then my palms. Who's going to sit back? Yeah, my palms are going to face in, and then from here I'm just rowing up, hands towards the rib cage, control it, nice and easy on the way back down. On this one, you just want to make sure you're not rounding your back in the bottom position, staying nice and flat. Row up, control, and then back out. Okay. Yeah, I like you know with the band, you can really tell you're getting a workout on both both sides of the exercise. Absolutely. You know, the push Absolutely. and pull. Yeah. Push and mm -hmm. pull. Okay, now we'll go posterior delt, right? So the back of our shoulders are upper back, arms are locked out, palms are facing the floor. You're gonna pull that band straight across the chest and then control it back. Make sure it doesn't slingshot you back to that start position, be under control, nice and smooth, and our banded pull apart. Now we get into some fun. So now we're gonna go into some arms. So you guys are gonna step on the band. Oh, I keep bumping my mic. <laughs> chest is up tall. And you're gonna do as many reps as you can, bicep curls here. Nice. Okay, so you can determine your resistance. If you needed to, if you have the loop band like I do, you can take another foot in there, makes it a little bit tougher. If you have the band that you guys have, you could choke down a little bit further on the band, increase the resistance there. No, the tip right. here then, is to get a band that suits your height because I this one does not. I'm sorry, I get, you should, you, yeah, you should have the longer band. I should have the shorter one. Yeah, you're little. You're just really bumping up the resistance there, you know? You guys yeah. could do this one right here. So if you step on the band, you choke down nice and, nice and low here. Okay. 90 degrees at the elbow and you're gonna kick back. So this is a tricep Ooh, kick back. So we did yeah. biceps. Yeah. That's tough. That one's a good burner. <laughs> you, gotta, <laughs> no, you gotta hinge from the hips and do what? It's in the, it's in the tricep. <laughs> there you go. Make it all the way back. Hey, maybe it's only two to three reps. That's okay. Exactly. Uh, and then we'll finish up with glutes and hamstrings. Everybody's favorite, right? So you'll step on that band in the front leg, stagger your stance, and then your back, ball of your foot, and the front leg's gonna stay straight. Most of the weight's in the front leg. I'm gonna hinge. And then all I'm doing is squeezing my glutes to stand. I should feel a good stretch in that front leg there. Yeah. On the back side, right? <laughs> Obviously, you would do both sides, and then you finish out strong there. Rest yeah, is needed. Yeah, that one you, you might need like a, a heavier resistance for since you're working with, with bigger muscles. 
That's right. Yeah, feels like it. Okay, good. This is, you know, resistance bands are sneaky because you'll do a workout and feel like, oh, that wasn't that bad. And then you wake up the next morning and you can't move. So. Very sneaky. Yeah. They're, they're a good one. That was sure. one of the most humiliating things I've ever done. You did on great. TV, but. You did great, Emma. <laughs> Matt, thank you so much for joining us, getting a little workout in here before all the Christmas cookies. We appreciate it. Happy holidays. Absolutely, ladies. Thanks for having me back. Have a good one. All right, hey, and if uh, if you or somebody you know wants some fitness motivation, we'll go to coin.com. Coin <laughs> Bye.